Ah, I'm gonna bring out the Irish in me. Let's get cooking with this. Let's see how we make it. All right, Dublin Coddle. It's made it once, saw this recipe online, and it is delicious. I wish I could find it again online, but I can't. There's so many different ways, traditional, non-traditional, but I'm just gonna go this way. The way I understand it in Dublin, it's basic ingredients, and they made it just to get rid of stuff so it wouldn't go to bad. So I got potatoes and I'm going with the yellows because I do believe that they hold a little better. So peel these. You don't have to be perfect. You can leave some skin on if you want. So I got about two pounds right there. Calls for about a large onion. So I got a medium and a small onion, fresh parsley, Italian sausage, you know, five of those. Get back here, onion. It's trying to run away. It knows it's going to get chopped up here. Ah, bacon, thick cut. And this is the hickory smoke. You don't need to do that, but we're going to do that. I like carrots in it. So my wife said she wanted to wait for pre-cut carrots. Fine. We're going to do it that way. Garlic. I toss in some Guinness. And the secret ingredient, I'm using chicken broth, everybody. I already mixed it up. Eight cups, because you want to get this filled up and over. And better than bouillon. This is my secret right here. I'm sharing it with you right now. Everybody, this stuff is incredible. It says one teaspoon equals one cube or an eight ounce can of broth. So I put eight in here for eight cups, 64 ounces. And you don't, you know, bring it a little bit lower. This stuff is so strong and concentrated. But if you look at it, it's just beautiful, okay? Now, what you can do with this too, is you can dash in a little poultry seasoning. Just a dash to give it a little bit more. This coddle will go all day long you can do it crock pot oven so on and so forth this is how i do it and how i remember so i'm doing this off of my memory of i made this in 2018 so five years ago let's see if i can still do it we'll be right back let me get these potatoes onions cut bacon cut up and we're going to get ready to put this together have it sit on there soda bread's coming too today and we're going to have this for our dinner it's like seven different recipes going on at the same time right now. That's why I'm wearing my lucky pink. So hopefully I could be ninja'd. Let's get this going. Be right back, everybody. Well, I just want to show you how I do this. I'm warming up my brats with my Johnsonville grill right there. What I'm doing is I'm getting them a little brown. You know, a lot of recipes with this always show that it's um, white, you know, and I, the sausage isn't all the way cooked, you know, as Americans, but it's the way they do it. But this way, my wife sees it, and if it's visually looks like it's browned and good, she likes it. Now, you can do this after you do your bacon and that, but I'm just going to try it this way. I've had it in there for about a minute, and I'm going to see if they're starting to get I don't want to cook them. I just want to get them to start browning up so they look beautiful. So I'm just roughly cutting these onions up. They don't have to be perfect. Let's open this up, everybody. Oh, just listen to that sizzle. Okay, they're starting to brown up. Yep, I'm liking that. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in there for a second longer and then I'm gonna turn her off. I think I'm going to unplug her right now. Just let it sit in there right now and get that. So, let's get over to this um, stove and let's part in, start putting this uh, coddle soup together for dinner. See you over there. All right. What I do is I put a little butter in here. You can put oil, butter, okay? And then I have this in, my Dutch over medium. And now I'm gonna put that pound of bacon in there and get this 
rendered up. Oh, just oh, oh, oh bacon. Gotta love it. Rashers, bacon, pork belly. You know, split it all up. I cut it up into nice little chunks. Oh, that's gonna be so good, everybody. Just delicious. Now, I've seen it where you put it in the oven, this recipe, where you put it in the crock pot, you can um, um, do it that way, but what I like to do is I like to leave it simmer. The recipe that I saw, and I wish I could find it. I mean, I spent over a day looking on YouTube and like 20 different recipes for this, and I could not find it again. But they put it in their Dutch oven like this and they had it on simmer all day long. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because it's one in the afternoon and this is gonna be part of, this is gonna be our dinner tonight. Oh, look at that, we got all the bacon in there. And now we're just gonna render this down. So just move your bacon around and get that where it just slowly starts taking that fat and crispiness up. We want to get this flavor released. So this is what we're doing right now. So I'm at just medium, medium low, everybody. Just listen to that sizzle. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Sometimes I wonder if God knows that he made such a wonderful thing. Bacon, shrimp, steak, oh. Mm. And this is what I'm gonna make my cottle stew in, my Dublin. I'm just gonna leave it in here. Now I know that there's recipes that have flour and everything else, but I'm keeping this pretty simple. The only thing I am adding different is the beer. Why not? Give it some flavor. Okay, just put that up a little bit. Let's get this dish out of here, everybody. I already roughly cut up my potatoes. Oh, well, let me wash my hands real quick. All that bacon, you know. So I roughly cut up my potatoes. Now, um, Yukon bacons hold their, hold their shape better um, than Russell potatoes. But they didn't have any, so my wife got yellow potatoes. I think they're somewhat the same. And you cut them in big chunks. Oh, that's really going good. This is going to take about three to five minutes, everybody. So we'll be right back when this is done, and we'll get to the next step. All right, that is looking really good, everybody. Right there alone, that is nice and rendering. So what I do, and this is a little different than everybody else, I come over and I grab my onions, okay? I'm gonna get my onions in there and start getting these, getting this flavor put in. Oh, come back, onion, you're trying to run away? Get in there. So we're gonna get our onions in there, everybody. And these, if you look at it, are just roughly chopped, split them up, Oh, wow, that's smelling so good, everybody. I'm gonna put this down just a, a little bit under medium. Okay, we're getting that going really nice, everybody. Okay, I just want these onions just to start getting in with the flavor of the bacon, start mending or blending, mending. We're not doing fences, but blending the flavor and now I'm gonna put my garlic in, everybody. One heaping tablespoon of my garlic, minced. We're gonna go like that with the juice. Let me get some of that juice in there. Oh, look at that, everybody. Look at that right there, let me get that mixed in. This is releasing the flavors right now. Oh, it's just, that's mm -mm, mm -mm, mm, good eating right there. Okay. The onions are getting a little bit loose now. 
So now what I'm gonna do is people put flour in here. I'm not doing that. I am going to put in the special, special ingredient. There you go. Not the full can. I'm gonna go that amount. So now I have something to sip on while I'm waiting. I'm also gonna take some of my parsley now and sprinkle that in. Okay, so let's get this. Oh yeah, mixed all in. Oh yeah, that's starting to look real good. Okay, we're gonna bring that up a little bit. Okay. That's starting to look like hearty, 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 delicious. Oh my. Now, like I said, we go with carrots, so my wife wanted the shaved carrots, so we got a one pound bag of carrots. You know, more or less of what you want to do, but my wife, when she eats her soups and her stews, it's got to be a pile on her spoon. You know, so now we're gonna get these kind of mixed in. Oh, that's a lot of carrots. She's gonna love this, everybody. You know, she is a carrot freak. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get that garlic mixed in there. Start releasing the flavors. And I like doing this nice and slow right up on here. Get that up a little bit higher. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit more parsley in there, everybody. Just like that. And now comes the big chunks of, of uh, potatoes. We're gonna get that in there. And you cut them up like a nice sized potato in thirds, and then just split them like that, boom. Nice big potato. You wanna keep this from not breaking down as much. So we're gonna get this in there. Oh, I hope I got enough room, I should. Just look at that, everybody. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait for dinner tonight. And then, comes the secret ingredient. And we know that's better than bouillon. That's gonna come in here next. Okay, so let me get a big spoon, everybody, and try to get some of this release. We're gonna go down to medium now. All right. Now you wanna have your broth. Now I'm going with chicken broth. You can go with beef broth. And what you wanna do is you want to put enough in there to fill up over the potatoes. And right about there, I would say. What do you think, everybody? That's starting to look really good, right? Get that mixed up a little bit. Carrots moved around. Okay. There we go. We're missing one thing now, and that's our sausages. I still got some broth left, but that's okay. Now, they did brown up. Now, usually, you could brown them up by taking the bacon out and then throw them in there. They usually just throw them in there, but I like to cut them up. And if you see, they're still red in the middle, but they got a golden brown. So now, we're gonna get the sausage in here, like an Irish sausage breakfast sausage, but we did not have any of those at our grocery store. So we got the Italian sausage. It works. Put that juice in there. Mmm. Privilege of the cook. All right, let's get that down. Oh, just look at that, everybody. Now we're just going to let this on the lowest heat simmer and this cook away, pressure cooking away. And this is gonna be 
so good with soda bread. So let me, oh, my coffee's all done. I should have a cup. Let me put a little bit more parsley on top, just like that. We're gonna put this up on high for a minute. A little bit more. So, garlic, onions, carrots, potatoes, sausage, um, beer, and the lowest setting. Low of low. This is just gonna make the whole house smell so good. And it's 1.30. Should be ready by 5.30, 5, 6 o'clock. And we're gonna see what this is gonna be when that's ready. Let's get to the other recipes. Oh, soda bread too. So much to do. We'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Oh, it's been sitting on low all day long. It is 6.30 at night. I think it was 1.30, so about five hours. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Oh, that smells so good, everybody. We had somebody stop on by. We need a painting job, so I gave them a little bowl and they said it was incredible tasting. So, there you go. Just look at, look at that pot, everybody. <gasps> Dublin Coddle. Oh, let's get some bowls. Let's start eating. What did you think of that? That is really good. Do all the great stuff, you know, um, like, subscribe, share, um, notify. And I appreciate you coming in my kitchen and cooking with me, John. And we'll see you during the next recipe and what we whip up next. Y'all have a great evening. Talk to you later. Bye all.